But now we're gonna think we're gonna talk about how you different styles right now, okay? So that right there is jazz, but it's also blues, and it just depends on how you play it to know whether it's jazz or blues. Some people mess up and they call everything jazz that doesn't have a singer in it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a singer, it's jazz. And that is not true because we can play a song, I can play a pop song for you without a singer and it's not jazz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We could play Killing Me Softly without a singer, but that's not jazz, you know what I'm saying? That's R&B, you know? So it's, it's, it's not jazz just because it has a singer. It's, it is a style based on the instruments that's playing it and how they're playing, and mainly rhythm. So right now we're going to do something like more, more uh, Central American, South American rhythm. All right, let's play Blue Bossa. This is a bossa nova. Jazz musicians started playing this style in the 60s and late 50s because it was popular in America. So, jazz musicians want to get paid, they start playing popular music. This is a bossa nova. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Right. 
Exactly. So now we're gonna demonstrate a little bit of that. Uh, we're just gonna do one chorus, play that melody one time in one chorus, and we're gonna take it out. So two full choruses. All right, one, two, three.